Hey guys, if you have a 2005 Polar Sportsman or ATP with a bad ECM, it's your lucky day. If it still says Ducati on it, the dealer should replace it for free. If you don't, you're shit out of luck unless you watch the rest of this video. I'm going to show you how to eliminate the problem completely forever. Now, this is 2005 and it's going on its second ECM. Now, that's a thousand bucks. Those are 514 bucks a piece. If you got a sportsman, you're a little lucky. Those are about 124. So keep watching this video and I'm going to show you how I plan to eliminate the problem completely by getting rid of that computer. So stay tuned. So let me show you what my issue is. Okay, so I turn the light on. Let me just put it neutral here. Engine hot light stays on. The key is in my hand. The fan is still running. Okay, so the research I've done turns out to be the electronic control module or the ECM box down here. It's right here. Now, if you own a 2005 Sportsman, you're a lucky guy because those are only 124 bucks. I, on the other hand, have a ATP, and this is like a one year or two year only. That ECM is 514 bucks. So if you have one of these and you still have the old box in it, which is say Ducati on it, there is a recall on it so you can bring it back to the dealer and they should replace it for free. If it doesn't say Ducati on it, it's been replaced already. So I'm going to unplug my fan while we're talking here so I don't burn up my battery. Okay, so what I ended up doing was I unplugged a couple of these wires and I found that uh, uh, the prongs on the wires were green. Uh, just something to make note of if uh, all your electronics, the uh, the plugins start turning green it means you have a bad ground somewhere so what these are notorious for is one of the electronic components either has a bad ground or got wet or went bad and uh, it starts wrecking the ECM um, that goes on for a while um, you're gonna end up what I have so I found out that a 2004 ATP doesn't have the ECM it has the CDI so I found a whole wiring harness for this for 50 bucks on eBay and I'm gonna eliminate the problem completely I'm gonna rip out the box rip out the wiring I'm gonna put the whole new wiring harness in it should just be all plug-and-play the only difference is it's uh, it's gonna have a CDI box so I won't have that problem anymore because think about it this thing's been replaced twice already in 15 years that's expensive that's like a thousand bucks so let's eliminate the problem but keep in mind um, the stator might be a little different so I'm probably gonna swap out that stator too you wanna make sure all electronics go for that machine or at least cross-reference the number stay tuned and I'll show you how this turns out once I put the new wiring harness on alright so we're gonna rip that ECM out why? we don't need it it's junk <laughs> take the wiring harness out you can replace it it's just gonna go bad again unless you actually fix the real problem um, the problem on this one was uh, the growl went bad and it fried some of the uh, electronic components and it made the ECM go bad. So I'm going to prevent that from never happening again with a CDI and a rectifier.
Out with this ECM box. No plugs here. Plugs here. Like I said, if you got a sportsman, you're lucky these are only 125 bucks to replace. For some reason, the ATPs are more expensive. That was only a one and two year only model production run. Here she is. So all these are for accessories. <clears throat> that CDI will come out. I'm going to replace that with the other one I got. The coil is going to come out. And this whole harness is going to come out. Okay, so I do have to replace the stator with this project because the stator is different. Um, the ends are different. The uh, wires for the new stator, they come into the CDI box with the plug. And the one for the ECM uh, was a completely different plug. So I'll replace the stator and also the flywheel. The flywheel should go with the stator. So... I'm uh, doing this project all under 150 bucks, and this should cure my problem forever. I won't have to worry about my ECM failing. Okay, so I put my used stator in, and uh, I'm going to put the matching flywheel I got with it. Uh, this one's different than uh, the one that was in there, so I'm going to put this in, and we should be good to go. Okay, guys, so here it is. I got my wires coming up, got my CDI box for the 04, got my rectifier for the 04, and the rear diff uh, rectifier for the 04. Uh, got everything wired up, I had to clean up the wire ends on here, and she worked beautifully, she fires right up. Um, so I am going to put the plastics back on and show you how this bad boy starts. No more issues with the fan, no more issues with the dash lights, everything works perfect. So the only one thing I had to do was the wiring harness on the 04 and the 05 is different. So I actually had to hot wire the, uh, the plug going to the fan, which doesn't bother me any because then I don't have to worry about any kind of uh, uh, temperature sensor uh, failing and uh, the engine overheating. Because uh, the 05 radiator does not have a temperature sensor on it, so I had to bypass it, which, like I said, it doesn't bother me, but I guess uh, if that was an issue with you, you could just replace the radiator and uh, one with an 04 that does have the temp sensor on it. So, I'm going to button this up, and I'm going to show you how she fires up. Okay, guys, I'm back with one more tip. So, I've got... Uh, my 2004 wiring harness all hooked up. I've got CDI box, rectifier, coil. Um, I've got one problem. I've got uh, some green wires. They got kind of corroded. Um, there's not a good shot here, but let me show you on the uh, on the old one. If you can see that, pretty green. So what I'm taking is. Uh, I'm using one tablespoon of salt and a cup of vinegar and I'm letting my wires soak in there. That'll clean all the green corrosion off and I've had it sitting for five minutes and oh, I actually cleaned that up pretty nice. Those were all green when I pulled them out and that uh, that actually goes up to here because uh, what I did was uh, when I turned the key on the speedometer would light up and the kill switch wouldn't work so that's telling me all the wires going to my switch up here were all green and corroded so it wasn't working pro properly all right now for the moment we've been waiting for I got her all back together uh, two things that I had to change on here one I said previously about the radiator and uh, the other one is on the 05 
the uh, what would it be the oil uh, temperature sensor um, you can't see it through here but it's on the side of the block uh, going into the head there's uh, two wires coming out on an 05 on the 04 wiring harness there's only one wire coming from the harness into the temp sensor so I had to replace the oil temp sensor too to get it to match up so aside from that let me show you what this bad boy can do now so I hot wired the fan so the fans gonna come on Our hot light. All my lights work. Now I don't have to worry about that ECM failing anymore. And I will have saved about $350 by doing it this way uh, total parts spent probably about 150 bucks and I'll never have to do it again so I hope you enjoyed my uh, little uh, quick tip um, and a major fix because um, this actually wasn't bad once you got all the plastics off it was just plug and play um, just replaced a couple things got rid of that ECM and I'll never have to replace it again so uh, subscribe to my channel I have uh, other Polaris repairs on there and thanks for watching